Hey guys, Pastor Brandon here bringing you today's Heart to Home Daily Devotional. It's great to be with you guys. Uh, I'm going to keep it short and sweet today um, and just share with you some verses that, that I, I would like for us to meditate on throughout the day, all right? And so I'm going to be reading to you out of the book of Romans. We're going to be in chapter 8, uh, verses 35 through 39. Um, this was the Apostle Paul uh, who wrote these things. And these verses have always been a great, great comfort to me, um, especially when I stop and I really think about what Paul is telling us in these verses. And, uh, you know, as Christians, I mean, we, we will oftentimes go through these difficult seasons, right? Um, and God never promises us that we're going to have a, an easy, stress-free, trial-free, you know, hardship-free uh, kind of life. Um, nowhere in the Bible does God say that. But he does make us some amazing um, promises to, to hold on to um, as we weather these storms of life that we go through. And sometimes when we get hit real hard, um, we can tend to wonder uh, why God has allowed this, this thing to happen to us. Um, we may even begin to wonder, you know, if, if God loves me so much, then, then why am I going through this, you know? Um, why isn't he protecting me from this? And some will say, you know, to question God's love for you is just a, a terrible thing to do. And, and, and you know, we, we certainly, what I've found is that it's really, a, it's kind of a natural thing to do sometimes. And the reason that I say that is because when you think about God and what we know about him, what we read in the word, you know, he, he, he's our heavenly father. He loves us so much and he can do anything. He's the creator of the universe. And so when we get hit, we wonder like, well, I thought he loved me. You know, why is he allowing these things to happen? You know, and, and guys, that's what our common enemy, Satan, wants us to be thinking. Uh, believe that. He wants us to, to have that thought, you know, if God really loved me, uh, why, why am I going through these things? You see, what happens is we try to uh, analyze and to figure out using our own understanding, our own wisdom, right? You guys know the proverb, lean not on your own understanding, well, we have a real problem. We, we like to try and do that, um, especially when we're going through a hard time. <clears throat> and when we, we get hurt, you know, we, we tend to look at our love that we have for others. And, and we say, you know, uh, I would never let that happen to someone I love, you know. How, how could God let that happen? And, and again, that's going on our own understanding, right? And... What I want to do is I want to read to you now some verses that, that talk about God's love for you, okay? Uh, and friends, this is, this is what we need to hold on to, okay? We, we take our own human understanding of the situations where we'll push that out of the way and we stand upon the word of God, okay? And this is what we're told in Romans 8, verses 35 through 39. Paul says this, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Okay, so who? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? And then he lists these things. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake, we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him, that is Christ, who loved us. For I am persuaded, and this is, this is what I want you guys to, to really listen to. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing, shall be able to separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And so I really want to encourage you guys to look these verses up today. 
Um, if you haven't turned there already, if you get time, turn to Romans chapter 8, verses 35 through 39. Uh, and, and I'd like you guys, here's some homework. I'd like you guys to just read them over and over. Read those verses over and over. Take your time and go through that list of things Paul gives us. And I promise when you're done, guys, you will realize that there is nothing that exists. Nothing that exists. No situation, no circumstance, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you went through or what you're about to go through. Nothing can ever separate you from God's love, okay? I hope these verses comfort you and encourage you. And uh, hey, God bless you guys. I hope you have a great day. And uh, looking forward to the next time that I'm here with you doing another uh, Heart to Home devo daily devotional. So hey, God bless you guys. I'll see you later.